Hi everybody, Yarn Fairy here again on the same day. I just had to share with y'all. This is one pound of Tees Water Long Locks, Locks. And I just have spent the last, I don't know, hour or so piling them up into little one ounce bundles for dyeing for our breed study. Now this, <laughs> you might look at it and go, ew, it's crunchy, it's stiff, it looks like sticks. Well, yeah, it might look like that now, but I haven't tended to it. And I think, um, I can't imagine sending this out to you like this. I don't know what a normal breed study does because I've never been in one, but I can't imagine making you guys go through everything that I have to go through to get it to a dyed form that I would normally want to sell. When I got this, I, I actually wrote to the wholesaler. I was terrified. I was like, what is this? What have I done? Is this stuff supposed to be like this? And you know what? Um, this stuff is amazing. Um, you, you want this, right? This is a long wool. You want curls. This is what's used for making doll hair. It's used for making, I don't know how many millions of different things. So I thought, what the heck, I am going to wash it. So that's just what I did. I washed it. Since I had so many different pieces of the fleece, what I'm going to end up doing, though, these are not what you're going to get. What you see is not what you're going to get, so please do not say, I want the piece at marker 152, please, because <laughs> that's not going to happen. 152 is amazing, as you can see. Um, it's got the curl. It's got luster. It's just, it's got it all. This reminds me of my hair as a youth, it would just curl like crazy after a shower. And this guy had a bath, he's had his shower, and he looks amazing. This one had a different sort of problem, which is why he went into the bath. He was um, of concern to me because he had like uh, areas of, um, oh, I don't know, VM or something. And I wasn't sure what was going to happen to him, but after separating them, I see that the same thing happens. You end up with these beautiful curly locks. So I will be going ahead and separating these and washing them again before I die. I'll probably use a little dog comb or a flick brush of some kind to get them back into structure. And that structure will then, ta-da, make curls. The other thing that I was dealing with was something entirely different that was making me completely freak out. And um, amazing, I love what happened to this. Okay, this is it in its unwashed state. And this is the same thing washed. That fluff you see turns into little locks again once they're opened up. Now I went ahead and bought curl activator and I bought a final rinse product that's specially made for curly hair and I'm going to be using those on these after I place the dye on these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dye them all the same color. I'm going to open them all up and I'm going to re-weigh them and re-bundle them so that everybody has a little bit of each type of these different, you know, I mean, they're all so different. They all speak to me on different levels. They all say different things, and, and to me, want to do different things. I mean, this is needle filters heaven, am I right? And like I said, 152, doll hair. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm really thrilled about this. I'm, I, I, I think the both of us, uh, Pixie number one and I both are having such fun doing the study and learning about the sheep as we go along. We're making you guys an entire book. So get your binders ready.
And this is only breed study number one. We're already starting to compile breed study number two. This is Teeswater, signing out.